Good morning, everyone. Good to see you. Paul Tranny here. It is morning or afternoon or uh, good evening to all of those that are way east of me uh, to my, um, I guess it'd be to my left or something. Uh, good to have you here. Uh, I'm happy Sam is here. Sean Castle's in the house. Frank is here. Stoney Braswell, what's up? Susan, uh, good to see you here. And Alyssa. So we're going to get this started. Uh, my name is Paul Tranny, uh, evangelist for Adobe, and uh, we're going to dive into all the fun stuff and things that we have going on, <clears throat> excuse me, essentially this week. Just kind of remind you of the schedule. Here's the schedule. And uh, it's kind of hard for me to read. Sorry, that type is a little small, everyone. Shame on me. Uh, but I don't know if you've created some birthday illustrations uh, with Jared Octon, that will be uh, in about an hour from now. So that'll be awesome. So that uh, started yesterday, continues into today. We also have creating a social sharing app in Adobe XD with uh, Elisa Amari, which will be awesome. See her over there. And then Wednesday, we switch it up over my shoulder. We have Jesus Ramirez, which will be a lot of fun, doing some Photoshop compositing, all that fun stuff, creating a poster. I should probably make my head a little bit smaller. I'm covering up way too much info. Not cool, Paul, not cool. There we go. Designing movie posters. <clears throat> yes, Freddy is back. So it'd be good to see him. Uh, his uh, Mac session went pretty well, so that was cool to see. And uh, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, hello from Ukraine, I see you there. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Uh, we also have, and again, this is Wednesday and Thursday, creating a brand identity for recycled clothing store. So that's awesome. I love branding for clothes because it could just be anything, which is fun. Varun, good to see you, buddy. Nice to have you here. Kimmy J is in the house. Is it okay? I'm just always going to call you Kimmy J. So, and a shout out for Jared from Kimmy. So that's good to see. Um, so yeah, everybody's here. That is the schedule. Uh, it's bound to be, uh, you know, a lot of fun. I'm going to stick around. Definitely, I'm going to be watching Jesus's uh, Just for Kicks. Partially, do you ever watch things just to just to make sure you know everything that they know, or at least you're on the, under the illusion that you think you know everything that they know? But that's why I watch some. It's like, okay, let's see if there's something I don't know. And usually there is. So, all right, let's kind of dive into news right now. Oh, hello, Hannah from Belgrade, Serbia. Tell me about Serbia, because I would, uh, I'd would i like to go there, because it's a place I haven't been. So uh, let me know, is that a good idea? I think it'd be a lot of fun. So this is news for, uh, for creatives. The news should matter to you. Uh, we did release this, Behance 2021 trend report. So uh, I want to share with you guys, you know, kind of see what's hot out there. So let's just kind of jump in. Cheers, folks. So here we are, visual trends for 2021, published by Behance, because basically they know all the projects that have been appreciated, and then they go through those projects and they say, okay, what are some of the commonalities of the most appreciated projects? And that's how they've come up with this. So I'm gonna copy this and we'll paste it into uh, chat. That's the correct answer, Hannah Jenka visit Belgrade. I would love to go to Belgrade, please. Can I? Field trip. Let's do it. So I just pasted in there, top three visual trends. Uh, again, like I said, most appreciated projects. I identified three. I love this. Trend one is tanger tangerine orange, which is awesome. I love this color, right? Because they've noticed these bold colors in a lot of the top Behance projects. Bright and bold, tangerine orange, and other bright colors. Now, let's see if we could do that. Since I know that, I'm going to go to my project that I'm working on. Yes, I am using a tangerine orange. I'm trying to. Okay, am I doing something wrong? Because I could have swore you were able to actually pick a color even outside of your color space. Tell me if I'm missing something. Or did we do away with that? Uh, anyways, I just would want to pick that tangerine orange. Let's dial it in. Oh yeah, as bright as possible, right? 
And again, it doesn't give an exact science or an ex a specific, you know, but it does lean more toward uh, the red, that tangerine orange. Boom, tangerine orange. Boom, there we are. And now I can start using it. So that's the idea. Uh, is this live or is it Memorex? Matthew, nobody knows what you're talking about. <laughs> Are you talking about an ancient technology that nobody's heard of? <laughs> Except for me and you. But look at these glorious projects. Yeah, you can see them. Go down any sort of uh, uh, skincare aisle. Yeah, there's that orange, right? Because vitamin C is great for your skin, right? You see these projects as well. That's by Eduardo de Floresta, which I think is awesome. Okay, so making note of these trends, these bright colors, right? We're done with 20. 20, right? We're into 2021. We're almost into 2022. Let's make it bright and happy, right? Let's, we're thinking optimism here. Voluminous forms is the second trend. You could read about these. You see these big fun forms kind of, in fact, I'm going to uh, peruse this whole mood board just so you can get an idea. This is what's meant. And I absolutely love these big voluminous forms that people make. You're like, what is it? I don't know, but it's just kind of cool. <laughs> Here's the Microsoft Flipgrid backgrounds, right? Are you guys into this? I'm into this. Like, same here. Uh, for this, I don't know what it is. But again, these big, big forms where you're starting to see that tangerine orange and those big forms, which is a lot of fun. So that's all I'm saying. Uh, so, yeah, Matthew Rob, myself and Matthew Roberts. Matthew, I, I did not mean to pick on you at all because they're like, I, you know, I will throw out some old references and people are like, what are you talking about? It's like, yeah, why don't you go play Jack's down by the soda fountain, Paul? <laughs> uh, again, love this voluminous forms that we could easily make in Illustrator if I had time, but I only have 30 minutes. Uh, last one I want to cover real fast. As we scroll down, we see some of those friendly faces, and you can see that in the voluminous forms as well, right? We can browse the, browse the friendly faces mood board, right? All these fun characters. Are they complex? No. Are they sensational? Yes. I'm totally into it. Friendly faces, voluminous forms, and that tangerine orange. And you see some projects actually using all three. So it's like happy face, sort of voluminous forms, even this type has some volume to it, which is obviously the tangerine orange. So that's what I, uh, <laughs> you know, Matthew, that's the thing, you know, know your place in the world. I'm not, we're not fooling anybody. I'm not here to be anything. I'm not, you know, just be yourself. Look at how amazing these are. Simple lines, uh, totally into it, right? Love these smiley faces. And again, volume is forms. So that's the style. That's where we're at today. You want to create something trendy? Hey, go for it. But I have a lot more to show, so let's kind of move on from that. You guys get the idea. I just thought the trends report was cool, kind of where we're at today and uh, where we're going. Let's kind of transition uh, to the next news item. Zoop. Here we are. Uh, Square, just so you know, rebrands itself, right, to create room for further growth. So I think this is interesting. They're now known as Block, right? We know that Facebook did this with Meta, and now... Square is doing this um, with, uh, yeah, actually Jack Dorsey is doing this with Square calling it Block, right? So again, I'm totally into Jack Dorsey. Like, I think he's, I think he's quite a character, so totally into it. And thank you for noticing, Sean. I appreciate it. As a fellow streamer, you appreciate uh, some of the uh, work that goes into this. So, uh, except for I forget to share my screen. So let's switch screens. Cheers, folks. So uh, again, gives you room for further growth. Block, you know what I think he's dealing with? He's getting into blockchain and cryptocurrency and all that. So I bet you, just random prediction, within the next, within the next year, you're gonna have Jack Dorsey come out with like a new company under this block umbrella that deals with blockchain and cryptocurrency. Because that's what he's into these days. Cheers from my pumpkin spice coffee. 
All right, thank you, Varun. And Varun, you're an artist, man. Do you not appreciate these cool forms? Isn't this amazing? Totally into this. Again, what did we just talk about? Tangerine orange showing up in there. I love teal and orange as a combo. It's such a such a strong combo having those complementary colors, and I'm totally into it. So we'll see what happens uh with block and jack dorsey and all that and i just really like reviewing the logos especially um all right so let's move on i kind of want to go on from that and i want to talk about uh resources if i could so let's dive into resources all right uh I like the motion good to hear <laughs> So here we have uh, brand new. So I like to talk about resources. Sometimes this falls under news, um, but I like talking about just different uh, resources that I've come across that uh, hopefully uh, might interest you as well. So here's a site that's all about creating mockups. It's called Brand New. Let's jump into it. Let's see, right in here, Brand New, right? Oh, I'm sorry, that's not, this is not one for creating mockups. That's my next segment. Uh, this is all about sort of artwork and um, getting inspiration like Pinterest, but specifically geared toward uh, designers. So you're not going to get how to knit a sweater and all that fun stuff. Uh, but here you can see sort of uh, Nugo logo identity by Song Trust by order. Like, so you could go through these, you could browse them and search. So you could browse if you're dealing with, um, actually, let's take a look uh retailers let's jump into retailers or even fashion right because we do have uh what's her name taking a look yes creating brand identity store with paula so paula's creating a, a brand identity for a recycled clothing store Right, so she could jump out here and say, hey, you know what, what other clothing stores are there, clothing brands or fashion brands that are out there that I could take a look at? So that's all this is. I'm gonna paste that in there. I'm gonna jump back out to this main site. I'll copy it, I'll paste it in chat. If you're joining me elsewhere, hi, Muriel. Hello, I'll paste that into uh, Facebook and YouTube as well. And uh, there you have it, okay? Cool. Also, Under Consideration owns a couple different sites. So uh, I should be able to go to just like underconsideration.com and they have a menu and it's, it's, it's currently like defunct, but let's take a look right in here. Oh, come on. Ah, I so apologize. Art of the menu, here we go. So they also have this site, underconsideration.com forward slash art of the menu. They're not currently maintaining it anymore because they're like, hey, we've noticed so many, we noticed there's not a lot of innovation. You know, the biggest innovation with menus is QR codes on tables and then being digital. But still, you can kind of jump out there if you're working on any sort of menus and get inspiration through here as well. Cool. Yeah, I love the resources. Awesome, good to hear. I'm just flooding chat oh you're too kind sam and i are on it look at us doing our jobs today hello sergio from mexico what's up buddy how you doing so there that is let's go on to some more resources again um and then we'll get on to some adobe resources i have too many things going on lots of lots of fun things to talk about just so you know uh this is the other one i wanted to talk about uh this is I can jump to it. Uh, Black Market. So this is where you can get um, mock-ups of any object to put your logo on. So we'll switch to it really fast. It does, you get a lot of what's like six, I don't, I don't remember. You get a lot for free. That might be the category I'm in. So with like a lot of sites, when you just go to free right in here and you can see all these lovely mock-ups, everything's already cut out and you can easily place sort of your logo right on here or on this package and all that good stuff. So that's black market, okay? But also I wanna remind you that you could easily go to um, Creative Cloud um, and you can go to free. And then right in here, you could just type templates 
or mockup. Let's type up mockup. That's what I need, not templates. Type in mockup and here's, let's just check how many, how many tags, ugh, darn it. Oh, I gotta sign in. Oh, no, there it was. What am I doing? Jumping all over the place. I'm already in there. Free mockups. Wait for it. And let's see how many mockups we get with Adobe Stock. We get 15,000 mockups in Adobe Stock that are free. So yes, you could drop your, you know, album color, cover, your all of your packaging and all that fun stuff. So yeah, endless stuff right in here. There's Black Market and then there's also Adobe Stock where we just give stuff away. How how am I even employed these days? How are they paying me? How is Adobe making money? I don't know. All right. Because we give away a lot of stuff for free. Cheers, folks. A lot more to talk about. I also want to get into fonts. Let's get into some font fun. If you don't mind, I like talking about the, sort of the font of the week. Um, and again, this is just by me. And I'm personally like, I'm no one. <laughs> I'm just a guy with a camera. Uh, but in general, I really got into this typeface. So you saw it on my screen a second ago. So let's just jump to it. Again, it's always gonna be it's always gonna be free. Uh, let's see if I have that bookmarked. Either way, we can search for it really quick. So let's just jump back over to my screen because this is what I'm working on. I was really like into this cool font. Sorry, there's a lot of a uh, lot of effects on this. All sorts of things. Right there, let's turn that off. There we are, here's the font we're looking for. Tangerine Orange, called uh, Marga Hayu. So you can find that virtually anywhere. I usually get notified about it through Behance, just so you know, uh, but let's just type in my Marga Fayu, Hayu font. It's from Pixel Surplus. And again, it's a free font. I thought it was pretty cool. So here we are. Boom. Right? Very technical, but there's different types, whether it's underlined or not underlined. They have all those different versions. And again, I think it's kind of fancy. So regular, bold, italic. And then the caps are gonna have this cool little underline under them. So that's uh, why I was into that, because I'm into space and sci-fi type stuff. So I think it's kind of neat, right? And then a nice font. Hopefully you're into it. Hopefully you like free stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you were here. So, oh, Sam always beats me to the punch. All right, so that's your font resource. Uh, a lot of fun, very tech technical, but way cool. I wanna redo this, but I wanna redo it in Illustrator. So I won't get to that till this Friday, uh, but that's the plan. It's gonna be, again, a lot of fun. So uh, let's see what else I got. Let's dive into new work from creatives. All right, and I am back, right? So let's just take a look really, f <clears throat> really fast, jumping into uh, four quick designs. Again, this is just to inspire, be sort of like visually, I guess, stimulated uh, by Socrem Mutante's work. Uh, I think this is down in Brazil, oh, Spain. I was wrong in Spain, this awesome mural, right? It's like all these cans of paint and pencils taking over the gray of the city. <clears throat> and painting it a new color. Totally into this mural, uh, and it still has that, that orange color, which I think is awesome. So, shout out to Sokram, did a great job. Here's some other illustrations, Tales of Summer Dr Daydreams, uh, Dak, Trung, Tram. <clears throat> I see a lot of Kyle Webster in these, but I just love all the textures in these. These are created in Photoshop. Are you not inspired by that texture and the softness? Doesn't it just feel good? Isn't it amazing something that you see can make you feel something? <laughs> but I love it, look at this. 
Look at how uh, he did not use black in here. He's like using obviously like a topish greenish sort of color off to the side for the, the shadows. But again, definitely strong use of color and texture and I'm just totally into it. Uh, so give him a shout out just to inspire you today, right? Get those juices flowing. Let's go to Konstantin Reshinkov. Uh, all of these, it's a logo collection. So people do this all the time and it makes me sick because their logos are so good. I'd almost want to make uh, one for each logo, one project for each logo, but they're so good. Secret Garden, Flowers and Goodies. I don't know what it is exactly, but let's zoom into all these and just be inspired, right? Here we have a bison, self-employed, and you'll start to see this artist's work being shown through the logo, which I think is really cool, right? Headless Horseman, those graphic lines. There's Secret Garden again. Monkeys with Cocoa for a chocolate. Let's take a look. Logo exploration for the tales of chocolate. Monkeys and chocolate. Happy holidays. Come on now, that's so good. Right, hothead concept for probably chicken. <laughs> Brewery, midnight concept, tattoo shop, and all sorts of cool things. I'm just really into this person's work. It's not like my style at all, but I certainly appreciate it. All right. Yes, gives it a canvassy feel for that, uh, that earlier one, which was awesome. Um, yeah, and now I wanna get on to, uh, since I only have about four minutes, there is this person's work, by the way, Junya Oshama from Japan, sort of these hand-drawn illustrations, right? But I just think they're really cool. And again, just I'm just here to inspire you. I'm not here to lecture you. I'm here to look at this stuff and uh, to get inspired by them. Junya has a lots of lots of amazing work. Look at that. You're like, oh, it's just like dirt and rocks. I don't think so. How do you make it like just kind of really compelling? I just I kind of I'm kind of into it. So that's all I have to say. All right, I want to get into some pro tips really fast, really fast, if you don't mind, and uh, then we'll wrap this up. Okay, and the pro tips I wanted to get into, it's right down here. It's like brand new to me. Open up Creative Cloud. We did this earlier, right? We're used to being in apps. If you go to Stock and Marketplace, we've been like loading this Creative Cloud desktop app with stuff, and we're not like, I feel like we're not getting the word out, and that's my job to tell you about this. Yeah, we could search for photos. I did that earlier, right? But we could jump into uh, fonts as well. Did you know that? You can search all fonts and foundries and designers, right? Fonts. Chances are you're not gonna know the name of the font. I might not know the name of the font. I might just type in uh, rough. I wanna find a rough font. So I'm searching on that tag, right? So sure enough, it's gonna ask me to sign in, make sure everybody writes this down. Oh, there we go. I'm signed in now. But these are all, these are supposed to be all the rough fonts. They don't, yeah, some of them look a little rough. That one looks rough, but let's view all family results. Right here we have sort of this one looks rough. Some of these don't look that rough, I'm being honest with you. I'm really into this free house. Nice. Um, but usually you should be able to search these on ta based on tags. So if I type in fun, I should hopefully get some fun ones and uh, know that this is driven by tags as well. So if we're all at, always at like, uh, you know, here's your fun fonts. Let's go right over here. All fonts off to the side. I'm searching by basically these tags right in here. So that's what I was doing when I went to rough, right? So even the rough ones aren't that rough, but that's the idea is that you can search from Creative Cloud desktop app right in here, right? And uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty important, so. Let's do a furry font. Did you see one? David Fair in the house. So yeah, use this. Hey, guess what? Did you know you can search for audio? This is brand new too. Yeah, audio in Adobe Stock. Yeah, just enjoy that. I'm just, I usually point you out to the free stuff because I want you to be successful and I want you to save money because you know what? Holidays are coming up and uh, chances are you need to save some money for presents. So uh, I'm thankful for you guys and everybody joining me today. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'll even leave you with this free stuff list. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Uh, have a great day. Stay tuned for uh, the daily creative challenge up next. Photoshop, some hack is going to do it. 
but uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. You are awesome, Michelle. Matthew Roberts, awesome. Um, yeah, I've tried the new Photoshop beta for the browser. Don't judge it too much, because again, we're just getting started there. So, um, but yeah, that's the deal. Thanks so much, everybody. I will see you, uh, well, Friday, if not before then. Uh, just gotta do a lot of recordings and stuff like that on pro tips. So uh, stay tuned for all my uh, social medias and all that stuff. So thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you guys soon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys online. Thanks.